Hello and welcome to Handyman Stan Builds a Van. Today on episode nine, we are back to working on the ceiling here and getting these boards finished up. It looks like I have, oh, what would you say? Maybe row and a half, so that means two rows of boards left to go that way. And then there's some cutouts for the lights in the back that I need to do. And I may start uh, uh, working on these lights and the shroud for the fans. But all that is to be determined. Those are all my goals. The goal is to try to get the ceiling finished up so I can get back to my favorite thing of framing. Yay! But uh, today, we gotta button up this ceiling and get this thing done. Get this checked off of the list. So with that, let's get to it. Wow, that took me the better part of the day just to put a few boards in. Uh, my review of putting floorboards on the ceiling, one out of five stars. Would not recommend. I'd give it zero if I could. The only reason why I'm giving it one star, because it looks pretty cool. But beyond that, this was not easy. Um, it's a very difficult task. Laying flooring on the floor, kind of hard. Laying flooring on the ceiling, exponentially harder. Uh, yeah, it, <laughs> as uh, one of my favorite YouTubers says, could be better, could be worse, but I'm happy with it. And most importantly, I'm pretty much done with it. Uh, next step is there's a light that I've covered up back there that I need to uncover and so I got to get my saw out for that and get that cleaned out and then get these fans buttoned up and then the lights in so that's where we're at here we go I got the hole cut back there for the light. I put the fixture up in the ceiling. Not extremely happy with it because the fixture recesses in, above the uh, flooring and it looks kind of ganky right now. The hole's not perfect and I'm just not happy with it. But the nice thing is I can probably fix it with trim or something along those lines. So it is what it is. You know, things are never perfect. The only reason why a lot of these things get pointed out is because they're on video. Otherwise, I would go, oh yeah, that's how I planned it to be, and just shrug it off. But in this case, I was hoping for a little better, and it's on video. But I think it'll make it look good. The next step is I've got these surrounds uh, that go up to the fans and uh, I want to get these wired up 
to the fans, get the fans wired up, and maybe test them, you know, just touch up the battery, see if they'll go on kind of stuff. And so just want to make sure things are working. So that's the next thing is to, you know, the wires will go on one side and then this, if I need to cut it, it will need to, oh, it fits in there nicely. I don't need to cut it. I just need to wire it up and screw it in place. I like this. This is good. So let me do that now. <laughs> Something worked. I'm happy. So <laughs> I, I'm speechless. It, I was expecting to have to cut it. So yeah, I'm going to work on this now. Here we go. I am happy with that. That went very quickly, buttoned up nicely, and looks good. So now we're going to see live. <laughs> You'll get my actual reaction out of this uh, if these work. So I'm coming over the battery. Uh, let's see. I'll hook up uh, red to red. Get that twist around. This is a uh, not final wiring, of course. This is just to give it a test. Uh, that set to off, that set to off. Okay, so now we're going to go to the negative. Since everything's off, there should be no spark, and there's not. Okay, tighten that down a little bit. And then we come up here. I've got fan. Ooh, and it's pretty quiet too. Now that is blowing out right now. I'm going to shut that off. You're supposed to shut it off and wait until it completely stops to turn it back on. Okay, it stopped. And now it's blowing air in. And that's one. And two. It only has two settings for in, three for out. Wow. But I, I feel it down here for in. Now to go try the back. All right, it is open. One, hits on! Two, and three. So that's really gonna create a huge airflow and pull air in from one side, bring it through, and push it back out the other side. That's gonna be really nice, and uh, I am very proud of that. So I've set that to zero. Gonna go ahead and spin this to close. It's not very loud at all. I, I'm pretty pleased with that. All right, so I'm gonna shut that to off and close the vent. I'm pretty happy with what's happened today, even though it's not completely done. And I got a ganky hole in the back. <laughs> you wanna see it? I don't like moving the camera like this, but here we go. Let's go see it. There's my Yankee hole right there. I'm not too proud of it, but uh, it'll work. You know, like I said, I can probably fix it with some trim, go around it, and just make it recessed. But that's where I, we're at, and I'm going to call it a night. Like, subscribe, share. If you can, please donate. This is the final week of the build, I believe, and we really could use some help. So if you're able to donate, please do so and share this video. Do give me a thumbs up on these videos. That does help, you know, and maybe the Facebook algorithm will pick this up someday. But yeah, do like, subscribe, but definitely give me a thumbs up. That helps a lot. Thank you so much. 
This has been Handyman Stan Builds a Van, Episode 9. We'll be back again tomorrow with uh, Episode 10. And maybe we'll get back to framing. <laughs> I don't know, this is becoming a running joke. All right, thank you all. See you on the next one.